Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Shauna, if you don't know me already. And in today's video, I will be sharing with you guys an updated wear and tear on my Gucci Marmont in the small size in the velvet. If you guys are new to my channel, definitely hit the subscribe button because I upload videos every Tuesday and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on those videos. So let's talk about my beautiful Gucci Marmont in this stunning cobalt blue color. Now that I have it up and close, you guys will be able to see some of the wear before I even start talking. Um, so I first purchased the Marmont bag in the mini size in the black leather. And I sold that. I can't remember exactly why. I think it was because I was purchasing a Chanel bag. I don't know exactly. But I ended up finding this bag in a, for a really good price, pre-loved, but she actually did not wear it. So she just picked it up. I think she said she was in Europe. She picked up two color combos and she wanted to let this one go. So I did not pay full price for this. Um, and I am very happy that I did not pay full price for this. So basically, my view on the Marmont bag in the velvet is that if you are trying to invest or want to buy the Marmont bag, do not get velvet because... The wear and tear is serious. Now, I started wearing this bag and marks started to show within, I would say, like a couple months. If you get any little tiny thing on it, it will show. So, like you can see here, this is from, I think, just water. And then up here, it must have not been stored properly and the chains imprinted on the velvet. So, if you are a very very cautious person with your bags like very then for sure go ahead it's a gorgeous bag especially in the colors that the velvet comes in um, I would definitely not go for black and guys this is my personal opinion you can do whatever you want um, but if you're gonna going to go for black then I would definitely go for the leather even if it's a little bit more money because it will definitely withstand time and um, it won't wear as this one will, but if you are looking for a beautiful color, um, go for it. I mean, like I said, if you are very, very careful with your bags, this bag is great as far as function goes, and I do get stopped every time I wear it because of the gorgeous color. I'm sure you guys know it has that pretty heart on the back. And yes, so as far as the velvet on this bag, definitely a no for me. Um, as you guys can see, the bottom has some wear. And I do not put my bag down on the floor or anything like that. Usually with this bag, I'm holding it. And this still kind of happened all in here. So, um, as far as the structure of the bag goes, it still has a pretty good structure. I would actually say that the velvet holds its structure better than the... Um, leather does because I noticed even with my medium, I mean my mini black Marmont bag, um, right away it started to kind of like squeeze in and the sides would go up. I mean this, you can see the sides have gone up a little bit, but the structure overall on this is pretty good. Um, and yeah, the chains are really significant and nice. The leather strap has held up really, really nicely. Um, because it's like a brushed hardware, you don't really see any of the marks on the hardware. But what else? Yes. Yeah, so my recommendation if you are looking for this bag, unless you are very, very careful and cautious with your bags, I would stay away from the velvet. Um, the colors are gorgeous, as I mentioned. Anyways, I am going to show you guys what fits inside. Um, I also wanted to mention that you guys, if you are not following me on Instagram, definitely check me out there. My name, I'm going to leave it down below. It's trendy thread underscore. You will notice that I have said many times that I will not sell this bag. And the reason for that is not just because of how unique and gorgeous it is. Because usually if I find that a bag is not going to wear well over time, I will go ahead and sell it, you know, buy something else. 
pretty much at this point this i'm not going to get much for this bag if i put it up in the pre-love market with the wear that it does have it's not terrible but it's not great um honestly i feel like i would get like 800 dollars for this bag and i just feel like at for 800 dollars, i'm gonna keep it i mean it's it is gorgeous and i am i do feel like the marmont logo is a trend that has died out however because it is unique i think it is still beautiful and i still do wear it especially um when i just want a pop of color i would even wear it with leopard i feel like it's so pretty as like a nice little color and yes so there's that um but let's get into what fits inside um you guys if you don't know me like i said i am a mom of two so i do have a baby that's 14 months old so i usually keep a diaper on me and here i have my sunglass case my louis vuitton mini pochette and my six ring key holder now that pretty much is everything i mean i definitely can stick other things inside of it um it definitely holds quite a lot for its size i would probably compare this in size to the um medium large chanel flap i feel like it's similar in size however this definitely fits a lot more um and now let's see what the inside looks like so you could see that it does have some scratches but it's not like screaming you know like oh my god i'm worn <laughs> if that makes any sense the inside has a stunning pink lining and yeah um i did ask my shoemaker if there's anything i can do to clean the velvet or fix it and he basically said that there's not much we could do um uh, maybe just like kind of try to brush out the marks but uh, honestly i've been too afraid to do that um, I might as well show you guys. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you what this looks like on, but let's see. So, I usually wear this bag crossbody. So, I'll show you guys how I do that. So it definitely sits nicely crossbody. I don't think I would ever wear it. Well, maybe it's actually kind of cute like this. And then you can also hold it like on the crick of your arm. Sorry guys, my mod shots can't move back far enough. I'm in a different location than I usually am. But yes, so that is my conclusion on the Gucci Marmont in the velvet, in the small size. I definitely think that the best size is the small. However, the mini definitely fits a lot. I remember that I was able to fit quite a lot. For me, I actually purchased the medium and sent it right back. I got it in the gorgeous beige color, um, and I sent that right back just because it looked humongous on me. And I definitely think that the beige leather in this is stunning. The beige on the Gucci bags are perfection. Like if Chanel could just steal that color and that tone and put it on their bags, it'd be perfect. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of me, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if it was informative for you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.